Good day, Wonder Nurses. I'm Nurse Anne. Today, I will share to you some board exam-related questions about endocrine system disorders. You have 30 seconds to answer, then I will give the correct answer and its rationale after the given time. So if you're ready, let's start. Question number one. The correct answer is letter D. The key manifestations of Cushing syndrome or truncal obesity, buffalo hump, hypertension, moon face, mood swings, and muscle wasting. If you want a short discussion about Cushing syndrome, you can check this link after this video. Question number two. The correct answer is letter C. The nurse should advise the patient after the procedure to avoid hyperextending the neck to prevent tension or pressure on the surgical incision. To prevent pneumonia after the procedure, the patient should perform deep breathing and calving exercises. The patient may also position the head of the bed into semi-fowlers. The procedure doesn't also affect swallowing. Subtotal thyroidectomy is a surgical operation that involves the removal of a large portion of the thyroid gland, leaving a small thyroid remnant to preserve thyroid function. Question number three. The correct answer is letter B. Inside or syndrome of inappropriate antidiuretic hormone, there is an increase or overproduction of antidiuretic hormone causing the body to retain too much water. Complications include cerebral edema, vascular fluid overload as manifested by distended neck veins, seizures, and coma. All the other choices fall under diabetes insipidus. If you want more discussion about the two topics, I will provide the link here and in the description below. Question number four. The correct answer is letter A. Check this link if you still have any confusion to hyperthyroidism and hypothyroidism. I hope this can help you to simplify it because these topics are vital. Question number 5.
The correct answer is letter D. Based from the given manifestations, the hyperglycemia of the patient was caused by acromegaly. Acromegaly is a clinical syndrome resulting from excessive secretion of growth hormone that leads to insulin resistance, glucose intolerance, and ultimately, diabetes. If you want to know more about diabetes mellitus, you can check this link. If you notice, I have provided you some relevant endocrine-related disorders. If you are interested and still have difficulty in understanding these topics, I already sorted all their links just for you in the description below. Thank you for listening. I hope you learned and understand something. If you want more videos, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.